everybody, it's Kay, and I'm here today with my Icon Box by Ipsy. This is February 2024, so let's see what's in here. Okay, so this is, um, you get the BoxyCharm box normally, by BoxyCharm by Ipsy, and then once a quarter this upgrades. Uh, this box, and I did get a boost, um, this box is $66.79 just for the Icon box, and that's including the shipping and handling for me. And then uh, my boost is $15.60. So uh, this cost $82.39. So let's see what's in here. So they choose five products and I get to choose three. So anyway, it came with this, which is a little uh, thing with Gwen Stefani, is the one who is the uh, curator. And it talks a little bit about, you know, some shows some different products that are going to be in here. And so it's a, it's nice information to have. And then some stuff about her on the back. So I do know who she is. Um, and I, I think she's a, I think she's one I didn't even think about for this, but I didn't know she had makeup. Now I know she has makeup. So let's go through here and let's see what they chose for me. So the first item that they chose for me, and I was really happy that they chose this, is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. And this is in the shade Neutral, uh, 4 Neutral. Um, it's a medium cover. It hydrates, brightens, reduces shine. Um, it's smooth and it blurs pores. So it looks like it does a lot of stuff. Um, I have never tried this particular one. I have tried some other things by this brand. I like them okay. I mean, I think it's a good color, actually. You know, I was worried it was a, a teeny bit dark. I had used other products over the years that were more in the three range versus the four range. But I do think this is a good product for me. Um, I don't... I did not put on a primer. I did that intentionally to see what it was going to be like without it. I think I would have been a little bit happier with the primer. I was worried that it was going to be too glowy um, if I did put a primer on, so I didn't. But I think it would work better if I did put one on. So anyway, this is what it looks like. Now, I will tell you, it came out of here pretty fast when I went to put it on. So you've got to be really careful about it about how much you press on this. So this is what the color looks like. And here it is into my skin. So I think this is a this is a pretty good match for me. So I am very, very happy to have this. This is actually probably the one, one of the best foundations I've ever gotten in a box. So this product is a $49 product. So I'm very, very happy to have that. So the next thing they chose for me, and I do have this on today, is Dominique Cosmetics Essential Palette. I have had other palettes by this brand in the past and they're very nice. So this is a neutral palette. And let me turn that down just a teeny bit. I end up a little bit too, too bright sometimes. <laughs> um, it's a very heavy palette, sturdy. And it comes with a, a little plastic thing on the mirror and when you take that off you don't have I did not have another insert in here to protect this going forward oh sorry <laughs> there it is there there's the colors okay I'm probably not going to get a lot of use out of this one um because I just try to keep dark stuff away from my eyes um I have on today I have this one um I have this in the crease this is sort of an all over here and then I sort of went between these two shimmers here, this one and this one. This one um, a little bit lower and then the the brighter one up towards the brow bone. So I have to tell you, you know, I think I'm gonna like it. Oh, I do see I got a little bit of smudge of mascara there. Got that taken care of, okay. So it's gonna be nice. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna always sort of gravitate towards, I'm gonna swatch a couple of these. I'm gonna gravitate towards the, um, the shimmers typically because mattes just sort of sit with me and don't really do much to, to do anything to enhance my look. They just don't. So maybe other people they do. So this is the top row here and all the shimmers are on the top row. So that's, that's pretty. I like that. Um, this one, I think what they've done is that I didn't realize this one was going to be as berry as it is. I think what they've done 
is they've lined up these two to go together, these two, these two, and these two together. They sort of lined them up. These two would go pretty well together. So this is a 49, to, oh, you know what? We'll take a look at a couple of the shimmers too. I'm not the shimmers, the, uh, the mattes. We're gonna take a look at those. And they're nice. I mean, I think there's some pretty good color payoff with these things. Okay, there's those. So that's just going in one time. So that's pretty nice. So I'm happy with this palette. Um, I do go between neutrals for every day and maybe a little bit more pop of color, depending on what I'm wearing. So that is a really good one. <laughs> my hair sticking out there. <laughs> and my hair cutting it. Hadn't behaved yet. Okay, so the next thing that they chose for me, and I wasn't sure about this one, but I think it's gonna be okay is this is by, I'm gonna go ahead and by the way, I'm gonna get this stuff off of here. Okay, so we can make room for other stuff. Okay, so I got this GXVE, this is a, a bullet uh, lipstick in the shade Lovable Me. And this is more of a uh, browner color than I, probably would have wanted and would have chosen for myself but it's okay it turned out better than I thought it would and that, so there's what it looks like I actually did get from Sephora the other one which is tragic me because I really think I do like that one better and let's see because this was one that a lot of other people had chosen for them and I thought you know this is the difference between the two. So the one that they sent me is this one that's more brown and then this other one I think is and this is the other one here. This is going to be more more for me. So anyway and the first time I did get it from Sephora it came and it just totally the the tuck it was broken off so they did resend another one but I will tell you that it's a very comfortable lipstick and I'm very happy to have it so I have more of a brown color now and then I have more of a more of a mauvey brown color so anyway but that was the one that, that I bought the one that they sent was was just uh, might be you know a little bit darker than what I'm going to typically wear but I'm think I'll get use out of it I mean I have it on now okay so that was a $26 product so the next item that they got, uh, they sent for me, and I actually had one of these, and so I didn't open. Okay, so this is the one that they sent. It's the KVD Full Sleeve Mascara. Um, this is a uh, $25 product. I actually had gotten the same product in a, I think it's a Trend Mood box, and I do have this on today. This is a tubing mascara, and I think it does a pretty good job. Um, you know, I don't know, would I ever buy it again after these two? Probably not, but um, it worked out okay. They're just, you know, I still like that Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Lash Sculpt, and I like Thrive quite a bit as well. Um, so there's others I like just a little bit better, but, you know, I think it was a good choice for me. So the fifth item that they chose for me, and I, I like this. I don't have this. This is by Wren, and this is the Glycol Lactic... Uh, Radiance Renewal Mask. Yeah. So let's see what this, it's supposed to, uh, it has glycolic, lactic, citric, and tartaric acids, and it's supposed to smooth um, your skin and reduce fine lines and deal with dark spots. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna put a little bit of it over here. I do like Ren products a lot. Sometimes I get angry skin or dry, just, you know, it deals, they deal with troubled skin. Okay, it has an interesting smell to it. So I'm gonna have to give it a try and, and see what it is, what it's like, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it because I really haven't had one product from this brand that irritated my skin um, and I've liked Pretty much the results that I've seen with with this so this is a $58 product so I'm really happy to have this again something that I did not have okay so then I get to choose uh, three products and so uh, there would be in each of these three categories they have like six things to choose from and I tell you I think the choices were pretty good 
Um, so I could have chosen the Drunk Elephant uh, Butter, uh, it's like a butter cream, um, the Laneige Retinol, uh, Dr. Jart Ceramide Skin Moisturizer Barrier, uh, Sachawan Cream Hair Heat Protectorate, and the First Aid Beauty Eye Cream, or the uh, Maison Louis Marie. And this is a uh, perfume that is sort of a, it's a roller, little small roller ball thing. This is a $65 uh, product. And let's see, you know, it has a nice smell, not an overpowering smell. It sort of reminds me a little bit of some of the um, commodity fragrances, but not as overpowering. So I know some people really liked it a lot. I mean, I like it. It's just, it's, I just don't feel like there's as much scent out of it. And maybe I would have wanted a little bit more scent. But also, I'm happy that it's not overpowering because, you know, there's time and places for that too. And it comes in the cutest little box. It comes like this and then like that. Isn't that neat? So I just like this item and that's why I chose it. So in that. It was one of the more expensive ones in the category. And by the way, this is like, they call it number 13. And it says it has, oh, this is small. Let's see here. Um, the top is, the top note is Mugeet, M-U-G-U-E-T. Then the coconut waters and lemon. The mid note is Tuscan fig, tonka, and agave. And the base is vetiver, amber, and Santal. So, I don't know. It's, it seems very nice and I'm, I'm very happy to have it. So in the second category, I could have chosen um, an R&R &R hair serum, which I thought about. Um, the N Beauty Face Bronzer, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow, uh, I think it was, and it included a brush too. Um, First Aid Beauty Vita C Serum, which I had. Uh, the Laura Geller Spackle Primer uh, or the Tarte Double Take uh, Brown Eyeliner. And I chose that and that is a $26 product because I actually have had this product in the past or you know where they have like a sometimes you know this is dual ended this is going to be liquid on one side and this is going to be like a little crayon on the other side which i love to use I, I always i pretty much prefer brown under here on the top i'm under right on this top lash line i'm usually using a um a black liner to get a little bit more definition but i'm happy to have this um so this is what it looks like and I just went with the product that I knew I was gonna use and that I was gonna like. And that's why I chose this one. I've, I've actually used this product for years. Or one, you know, like I said, I've used the either combination or the with the brown, it usually had something on the other side. So there's like the crayon part and there's the liquid part. So I definitely am gonna get a lot of use out of this one. Okay, so the third category, I could have chosen um, the Lovecraft Beauty brush set, Tower 28, uh, looks like a highlighter, Super Dew highlighter, uh, the mm, a Trophy Skin Tool, I didn't need any more skin tools, Saturday Skin Eye Cream, and I think I have a couple of those in the little, uh, try, the small size, uh, First Aid Beauty, um, oil tone uh, some kind of a toner that's uh, i don't know it, it looked like it it was it said something about oil and, and i just thought you know what? i don't really think i need that whatever it was whether it was to help with the oil or to take away oil because i have sort of you know combination skin and i didn't really need another toner or i could have chosen the mac lash dry shampoo refresher this looked really interesting to me um, I could easily see myself, and I haven't tried it yet, but I could easily see myself wanting to refresh my mascara during the day. And I have never seen another product like this. There may be some that I'm not aware of, but when I saw this, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give that a try. 
So I'm very happy. And it's got a cool little thing that comes in. And I like other mask, uh, other mascaras by MAC. It's not my like go-to mascara with any of the formulas that they have. Um, but it's it's gonna be interesting to give it a try. And it has a very, very flexible wand. So just really cool. I'm so happy to be able to try that. This is a $26 product. Okay, so I'm sorry. I think it's 24 if I read my handwriting correctly. So I did get a couple of add-ons, which I typically do. And these are the things that weren't chosen for me that I wanted to, to try myself. So here they are. And they, the, first of all, I have the Hydrating Eye Cream by First Aid Beauty. And I'm really happy to have this to get to try it. I think this was in one of the choice categories that I didn't choose. But um, just love every single product by this particular brand. Um, this would be a $30 product if I had to pay for it, but it was an add-on cost. So I'm happy to have that. I got this uh, Tees. And I, this is a fairly new brand to me, Suit of Armor. And this is a... Uh, it comes from this box here, and this is what it looks like. This is a eye a eyeshadow primer. Okay, it looks like that. Okay, and you know what? It seems like it doesn't provide a lot of color to it. I actually have needed a little bit of color because um, I get a little darkness, you know, right, right in this area, and my favorite one is the Gerard Cosmetics and the light color. So we're going to give this a try. We'll see. Um, that would be a $25 product uh, if I had not gotten as an add-on. Okay, so I did get, and you know, some of these things were in the categories. So this is saying I really did find several things that I was interested in in several categories. And so I went ahead and got the add-on because these are good prices. You get to try something. Um, this is by Laneige. It's the retinol firming treatment here. And this is um, supposed to help with fine lines and wrinkles. Um, and by the way, this First Aid Beauty one, it just basically says it's supposed to take care of everything. Fine lines, puffiness, dryness. So, And those are good products. I've always been happy with those products. So anyway, let's see what this Laneige one looks like. And this Laneige one would be a $30 product. Okay, and they give you some instructions that you better follow um, to get it open and to deal with it. So I'm not gonna open this right now, but I'm really interested to, to get to see what that's all about. Okay, so then the next item, let's see. I had, uh, I saw this thing by Drunk Elephant, and this is the Miracle Butter, and it says it's Marula, uh, it's Marula Butter. And this looked like something really interesting to me. Uh, it's supposed to help with dry skin and it says face, lip, and eye. So interested to give that a try. Let's see if it has a little fragrance to it. This would be $38. I always have neat packaging. I have some other products by this brand and I like them. Okay, it probably has a safety seal and it does. And so it is the winter time and I do have a little bit of, you know, some dry skin here and there. So I'm, I'm interested to give this a try. I'm gonna put this over here. Okay, doesn't wanna come out. Get it to come out. Okay, I know I took the thing off of there. Okay, so this happens sometimes where you think you've taken it all off of there and you did, but there was a little bitty uh, thing left over. So this is what the product looks like. And I think now I have it where it's gonna come out. Oh man. Okay, I got, I finally got some of it to come out. That, you've gotta really squish that thing to get it to come out. So let's see what it feels like. It feels nice. Um, it doesn't have uh, a scent to it. Yeah. That's the case with, I, I found on a number of the products, there's no scent to them. Okay, so we'll have to give it a try. I'm glad to have that. Okay. So then they had this product by Ole Henriksen. I think it's Ola Henriksen. A wrinkle burr, uh, blur. Bacuchol? Bacuchol. I don't know. I have to look that up. Um, eye cream gel. 
And this is a product, I, I have several products by this brand. I didn't have this product here. And this is a, um, supposed to, it has peptides, it has the back, Bacachul, whatever, that's got the retinol, it's got the peptides that nourish. Um, it's got orchard stem cells, orchid, orchid stem cells that reduce wrinkles and they, uh, it also firms the skin. So I'm really happy to give this a try. I think they've come out with several new products lately, but isn't that pretty? That's purple. It's really neat. I'll be using that tonight. Hmm, it has, it has a scent like a lot of their other things do. Almost a little bit citrusy with maybe, maybe a little bit of lemon scent. Anyway, happy to have that product. Ooh, that would have been an expensive one too. That would be $52. I didn't pay that, thank goodness. Okay, so, okay. I'm gonna say the one last. Okay, this was something I didn't, I didn't get a choice of this, they didn't choose it for me, but this is by Gwen Stefani and this Give product line. And this is a, um, it's in called Bath Water, but you see that I like blue, I have this blue on today. Um, I, did, I don't have this on, I haven't tried this yet, but this is really pretty. Um, I like to have eyeliners um, for under, you know, the lower lash line besides black or, or brown. And there it is. That is really pretty. I don't like to have to sharpen them, but you know, there's pluses and minuses to it. Okay, so by the way, I, I'm touching that um, Tweez primer and it, it did dry down okay, it's not tacky, and it does seem to get up a little bit more of potential coverage than I thought it was gonna give to deal with sort of that darker area that I have sort of right, right in here. And that's something that's sort of new this year. <laughs> okay, so anyway, happy to have this. This would be a $20 product. Um, okay. So I got, I went ahead and did get these brushes by Lovecraft Beauty, because it looked really nice. There's like a bunch of them in here. There's seven of them. Um, this would be a $40 uh, set if, you, if, I, if I didn't get it as an add on And it had just about every type of eye shadow brush. And look at that, it's got one of these too. I've never seen that, it's probably, for a liner is what I'm gonna guess. But they said, I, I've had other brushes by this brand before and I like them. So, you know, here's here's what they look like, okay? So, and they seem, they actually seem like they're pretty well made too. So I am really happy to, to get to try that. I'm always needing a brush. I sort of like, I put some here and there and wherever, <laughs> where they're dirty, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, so, I, got also this Laura Geller um, blush, and I don't have any blush on now, so we're gonna go ahead and, I have a brush around here that would do this, and I do. I do have a brush that would do this. We're gonna try this on. So, it's basically, it's a, little, a trio, it says eye, lip, or cheek palette. So it looks like, and I've got to get this open, it looks like it has a highlighter in it too, which I love to put right up underneath my brow bone. Okay, so this is the, the box for it here. And then here's what it looks like when you open it up. Okay? And then it's got this little plastic thing here. We're gonna get that off of there. Okay, you know what? This is cream, and it looks a little spotty. This one looks a lot spotty. I'm pretty sure it'll be okay. So, okay, we're not gonna use the brush. We're gonna use the fingertips. Okay, we're gonna go use the middle one. Okay. Okay, well. I like that. And then, now this thing, this actual highlighter, actually this is, doesn't feel cream to me. This actually feels like it's powder here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that here. 
not really seeing much coming off of there. Um, let's just try it on the finger. Uh, there's what it looks like. Okay, well, Laura Geller's nice products. I'm happy to have that. Okay, this would be a uh, $32 product. I think we have two more add-ons. We do get 10, so. <laughs> um, I got this Gold Fadden Plant Plant Perfusion Supreme Serum. I have had this in a little small sample size from them before, and I liked it. Um, I would never spend this price. This is a $235 product. $235. I would never spend that. So when I saw an opportunity to get this as an add-on, I thought, well, we're going to try it. And we'll see if you know, get a chance to try it in a bigger thing other than these little small samples. So here it is. It's gold. I've heard other people say that there's just not a lot in here. Um, I really can't tell, but because it's sort of like a milky color and it comes with a little dropper there. Um, I'd be careful you could spill it. It could easily fall over and you would not want to spill this. But I'm going to tell you, it does not, does not have a smell to it. Um, that's a nice product and I'm really happy to get to try that. Let's see if I wrote anything about that. It's supposed to plump and protect and nourish. Okay. So, oh, and I did get a boost too. I can't forget to do the boost. I have one last add-on, which is the Ace Butte palette. And this is called Mystic Romance. They did not choose this for me in my Boxy Charm because I do have this the other subscription so that I'm gonna get the Boxy Charm and I've been able to get the, the icon. Otherwise, it would just, uh, you it, it just, it, upgrades and I always like to get I always like the box of charm box so anyway that's why I have two subscription this is really pretty okay this would be a uh, $39 palette so I haven't tried this at all it comes with a mirror and then these pretty colors here so I think I know I'm gonna like it I, I, I've had other palettes by the brand before I'm really happy to have this and disappointed they didn't choose it for me but, so I had to go get it myself. But they tend to do that. Um, anyway, I always seem to have add-ons and, and that's the reason for it. Now this is my main box here. So this is gonna have the nicer add-ons. This is typically the one they're gonna ship first. The other ones, I don't even think they've shipped. So the last thing I got in here is um, my boost item by Kate Somerville. And I really like uh, pretty much all things Kate Somerville. This is a $78 product that I got for basically $15.60. And what it does is it is a hydrating, recharging serum. Um, and it's supposed to revive and plump. And it says the technology mimics micro channels, micro channels or something to unlock water pathways to deliver faster uh, faster like help. <laughs> Let's see if I can see anything more on this. And you know, I hate the one thing I hate about it. Everything on here, they always put it in white, and you cannot see it. So let's see if I can read anything on here. Okay, it just says it's a recharging serum, and you use a two to three pumps on uh, the clean, dry skin. Revive supple, reveal supple, recharged, and radiant skin with this blue light activated peptide serum that instantly hydrates and quenches fatigued skin. Okay. It says it has Nobel Prize inspired aquaport technology that re redefines the way your skin hydrates itself and delivers instant and long lasting hydration when and where you need it the most. Wow. It's supposed to instantly boost radiance, fight signs of skin fatigue, and it visibly reduces dark spots from more even tone. Well, I think I need all of those things. So um, this was the thing that they, they chose. I, didn't, I decided not to change it to something else. This was certainly the nicest product. I think this is, I think this is a glass uh, container. If it's not, it's pretty heavy plastic. So there's what it looks like. 
they may have a little bit of a smell. It's not going to be much typically, but, and then you really, when they say two to three pumps, you do not do more than that because um, it can irritate your skin. Okay, so it still hasn't come out. Okay. All right, well, it doesn't want to come out, but maybe eventually it will. Okay, I don't know. Maybe it's broken. I don't know. What am I doing wrong? Okay, I don't know. It has still not come out of here. Maybe when it comes out, it's gonna come out all at one time. It, I can't get it to come out. Okay, it finally came out. And it, it came out quite a bit. So anyway, that's what it looks like. Okay, it doesn't have much of a smell. Okay, I'm really, I'm happy to have it. I'm glad to know that that's not broken. It just took a while to get it to come up. So anyway, that's, um, let me just, I'm not going to recap, but um, this all together. So basically with the boost, now I paid $82.39. The value I got with the, that's this eight items plus the boost is $322. 322. And so um, I did get some add-ons and I paid 136 for that, so 136. And that value is $550, 550. So all together, I calculate this, um, what I got out of this is, uh, well, just the two of those together. I can't do that right now. They came up with another number, which was higher, but than what I came up with. Um, but anyway, when I, those other two values I gave, that's, that's really what I calculated it to be. So this is a quarterly box. Um, this is, I think it's a, it's a pretty good box. I think the add-ons that I can get, I really like that too. So I'm very happy with this. Um, so I will be getting um, the boxy charm by Ipsy. And that's going to be probably in it could be ten days from now. I don't know. And then also some two little little bags, the little glam, uh, just the regular glam bag. So anyway, that's all for today. Um, thank you for stopping by, and have a good day.